So this is a wireless mono headset that packs long battery life, lightweight and good microphone. This is aimed towards business people, sales people or people who works from home, study from home with regular meetups on Zoom, Teams and Google Meet. This is priced just under 60 USD globally. Links to purchase can be found in the video description. But let's jump into the main review. The entire headset here weighs under 76 grams. Now the package comes included with the soft carrying pouch, two types of user manual, a detailed one and the quick start one, a decently length type A to type C cable as well as a type A to type C dongle right here. The headset is light feeling and compact looking. It can be used either on your left side or right side of the ears easily. Now the metal band right here extends up to 3 cm in length to accommodate bigger head sides. Aside from that, at its very end right here is this T-shaped plastic frame that is well padded to elevate some pressure on the other side of the ears. This is meant to rest the other side on top of your ears. So aside from that, this ear cups is an on-ear type. The design is better than over the ears for long sessions of usage to prevent any sweat or heel heat build up around the ears. It is measuring 6.6 cm in diameter with a thickness of 1.4 cm. On top of the ear cups right here, let me put this boom mic away, is the rotational sides for the headband. Aside from that, you have your volume rocker plus and minus which is easy accessible when you place your pointy finger and your middle finger to quickly adjust the volume. Not too bad. On the sides right here is the power button, the call button and multi-purpose button right here. But aside from that, the boom can rotate up to 315 degrees. So you can use, like I mentioned earlier, left or right side of the ears. Now the boom is fixed length but it's angled inwards right here. On its very tip right here is this green button where you can quickly mute and unmute your vocals. So let's say if you're answering your site, uh, you know, co-worker space or maybe it's your turn to speak, you can enable or disable the mute button right here. It uses Bluetooth 5.1 with Qualcomm chip built in, which supports two device pairing at the same time thanks to its multi-point connect feature. On to the microphone. So this has a boom mic. The benefit to it is the microphone is closer to your mouth. It picks up the vocals much clearer so you sound better and crystal clear. Versus those headphones where the microphone is located from on the ear cup itself, the further away the microphone from your mouth, the more muffled you sound like and basically you sound like a sleepy slow folk person. So let's jump into the test right here. Testing one, two, three. Pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbow. She sells seashells on the seashore. This is how I sound like using the microphone on this headset right here. I'll leave some comments down below right here in the words to let you know how I feel about the audio pickup signal from the microphone. The headset takes slightly just under 1.5 hours to charge from empty to full. It's rated to last 50 hours on media playbacks or 32 hours on calls. We have tested this on the MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro, about 50% volume. We got a total of 47 hours on media playbacks and 28 hours on calls. On to audio benchmark, it uses a 30mm dynamic driver. Our test is based on the MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro, about 50% volume. The base packs great amount of power despite its driver size. The mids to highs do sound crystal clear, generally good for conversation and some media streaming that emphasize on vocals. So here's a summary of this headset right here. It provides you great amount of battery life for its size and weight. And if you have a full-time office job doing like 8 to 9 hours a day, it can last you a good 2 to 3 days worth of meetings and virtual calls. Now, one thing to note, you can always charge them up during a lunch break so you can keep them juiced up constantly. Aside from that, the vocals pick up from the microphone is super clear. It's better than those microphones that is located far away from your mouth on the ear cups itself. And on my MacBook Pro M1 Pro as well as my iPhone 13 Pro Max, the audio is much more distinct, more clearer versus Android and Windows-based PC. Maybe it could be driver or something like that, or maybe some EQ settings. Again, for Apple users, don't worry, it works better on our platform, smiley face. Now aside from that, ergonomics is good. Now people will prefer over the ears, I prefer on the ears itself because there's no sweat build up, build up or heat build up around the ears. And even if you feel a little bit discomfort, like maybe two hours, you can always flip the headset to the other side and use it on the other side. 
it's comfortable. And talking about comfort, initially I thought that one sided will be you know heavy because all the mechanics, all the plastics, all the metal part, all the things is in one side. But because of this T-padded frame right here, it keeps it level, it keeps it balanced, and it does not feel like one side heavy. So there is no discomfort using on either side, whatever you know, burst your bubble. So would I recommend this product? Yeah. If you have a lot of uh, work from home basis, office calls, or even kids studying at home, this is a good product. Links to purchase can be found in the video description. And you know, please subscribe to our channel so you can see more contents like this. And let me know which country are you guys from. Comment anything on the comment below so I can reply to you guys. Till then, see you guys in the next review. Ta-da!